In our last section, we have seen what is principle of mathematical induction and have an example on that. We will see one more example. We are having proposition as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n is equal to 1 by 2 n into n plus 1. So, according to our principle of mathematical induction, what we will do? Put value of n is equal to 1. So, this value will be 1. We have kept here n is equal to 1, 1 plus 1. So it is 1 by 2 into 2, here becomes 1. That means whatever proposition we are having, it is true for P of 1. Now, as it is true for P of 1, what we will do? We will put n plus 1 at both the sides in our step 2. So we will be adding n plus 1 to both sides. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n plus n plus 1. This we have added is equal to 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 plus n plus 1. This is what we have added because in our next step we have to put the value n plus 1 at both the side. As I said in my last lecture, we have to solve and focus the RHS. So 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 plus n plus 1. We have just modified that expression by 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 plus 2 n plus 1. If we will solve it, we will get the same answer. If 1 by 2 n into n plus 1, this is same. You will multiply 1 by 2 with 2 into n plus 1, this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled and this is n plus 1. So now as we have received 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 plus 2 into n plus 1, how we will solve it? Because you are getting the same term in the bracket, that's why it will be n plus 1 and n plus 2. So we are getting the RHS as 1 by 2 n plus 1 n plus 2, which is the next term we can see this was our proposition 1 by 2 n into n plus 1. The next term will be n plus 2. So we can see over here, we have received the next term that is n plus 2. And that's why this proposition is true for P of n plus 1 whenever your value of n is greater than or equal to 1. So the same formula we have applied by the, by the principle of mathematical induction, we have put the value of n is equal to 1. We are getting both the values same. That's why your proposition is true for P of 1. Then we have gone to step 2 where we are adding n plus 1 to both the sides and we are getting the proposition in the format where the n plus 1 term is added and that's why your proposition is true for P of n plus 1. So this is what principle of mathematical induction states. Whatever proposition you are having, if that is true for P of n is equal to 1, it will be always true for P of n plus 1. That is nothing but principle of mathematical induction is. So, this was principle of mathematical induction. In our next section, we will see the well-ordered principle.